now in this video I've got the NPN transistor 2 N2222 switch and I've got a beta of 10 now on the collector side I've got a 10 millihenry inductor a 12 volt source And I've got across the inductor the 1N4007 diode. And as you can see, the diode is reverse biased. In series with the inductor, I've got a 1K ohm resistor. The output will be taken across the collector. The emitter is grounded. On the base of the transistor, I've got a 3.8K ohm resistor. The input is a 5 volt peak to peak input pulse. Zero volts at the bottom. 5 volt peak at the top. The duty cycle equal 50%. The pulse width equal 1 millisecond. That means 1 millisecond from here to here and 1 millisecond from here to here. That gives you your 50% duty cycle. And I have a DC mean of two and a half volts. Now what happens on the input? As your pulse goes into the base, the current rises across the collector. And now when the current hits or the voltage hits 5 volts peak, the maximum current through the collector will be 12 milliamps. Now, the output equals zero volts. Now, the reason the output equals zero volts is because the transistor is now in saturation. Across the inductor, VL equals zero volts. And the maximum voltage across your 1K ohm equals 12 volts. So, at this point, the transistor is in saturation. Now, across the inductor, this will be your polarity. Positive at this end and negative at this end.
Now, when the pulse goes to zero, the output will be 12 volts. The voltage across the resistor will be zero volts. The current through the collector will be zero amps. and the polarity across the inductor switches. This side is negative, this side is positive, and the inductor will discharge through the diode. The output waveform will be a square wave pulse a 12 volt peak zero volts at the bottom This brings me to the end of the video. Subscribe, like, share. Subscribe, like, share. Thanks for your attention.